Hello people and welcome back. I've dropped the sport car off this morning at the body shop to have the passenger door done, the fuel rust around the fuel cap, the rust around the rear wiper, the rust on the rear quarter, the driver's rear quarter, and also to have the scratches just above the door. They're going to try and buff them up to save me having the roof sprayed. If you watch the walk around I did when I first bought the car, um, there was quite a few things that I needed to get for the car, but I thought, you know what, I'll task my wife to do it. I'll help her out and give her the part numbers and the Ford finish codes of all the parts that we need to make the car absolutely split mint, and she can buy new or used. And I thought, you just crack on with it, see how you get on. And over the past week or two since we've bought the car, the boxes have been piling up at home. And I know Hannah's opened them and checked that the parts are all right, whatever she's bought and correct, because there's no point leaving them there, all still packaged up and then waiting for me to open them, because like I say, it's, it's about two weeks later now. But we're going to go through them all today and we're going to find out what she's bought, whether it's new or used, and how much she's paid for it, because I'm going to be keeping a grand total of this sport car as we go along, since we paid £1,100 for it, and we're going to see how much we end up paying in total for the car when it's all done, dusted, and looks absolutely amazing. So do you want to pass me the first parcel, Anna? Just a little packet. This is the Bonnet Stay Grommet. When I did the walk around, I showed you that it was missing, which when Hannah was driving, it was causing the Bonnet Stay to rattle quite bad. Um, this looks like a brand new one, and she's paid £2.5p for that, so I think she's done well there. It's brand new. Um, I thought we were going to have to get one from a scrapyard, but they must be ready available. So, chuck us next one. Well, I don't need to unpackage these, they're already unpackaged, they're like a banana. Um, these are some KA mats. Could you not get sport cow ones? No, she couldn't get sport cow ones, so we've got KA ones, and it looks like they've been posted, and they're going to take a rhino sitting on them for straighten them out. And they were £21, just for the front ones. Right. Next, when I was driving behind Hannah, I noticed she had a brake light bulb out, so she's been to Holford's, the world's most expensive bulb place, and how much have you paid for them? £3. Not too bad, £1.50 a bulb, but I suppose it's better than getting pulled off the police. When I picked the sport car up, you would have known, in the, if you've watched the video, that I then travelled across to Kings Lynn, and picked up a different interior because she didn't like the blue inserts on the sport car. Um, it's still a leather interior, but it's not got the blue inserts, it's got grey inserts, it's all the same colour, it with door cards, rear seats and everything. So she's bought some leather care cleaner, which means that she wants me to clean it all before I put it in, which isn't a problem. How much was that? Six pounds. So that was six pounds from Holford's, I take it. Yeah, no worries. Next one, a flat envelope. This is a brand new forward part. I'm struggling getting into the box here. Yep. Yeah. It's a brand new badge for the back of the sport car. The one that's originally on in the walk around I showed you was faded. It happens to all the KAs. I don't know what does it. It might be the sun. It might be the chemicals you use when you wash them, but it takes all this paint off. So how much was that? £15.98 for that, for a badge. And it feels really flimsy as well but it needs to be done, I suppose. The way she's been going on buying these parts by the looks of it, she might be entering it for a concourse competition. I don't know if they're doing for a sport car, but I suppose if she's the only one, she's gonna have to be the winner, isn't she? Next box, quite a big box. In here we have the, uh, this is used, I can tell with the dust. It's the passenger side fog lamp. In the walk around again, I showed you that there was a slight crack in hers and it had caused it to all condensate inside and mist up with trap water. This looks in really nice condition. I know for a fact because I looked myself with these and they're over £100 from Ford. And this was £22.95. So I think she's got a bargain there. And this is a genuine Ford one as well. It's stamped up at the top with Ford. Another box. A new indicator stock. Why have you bought this? 
because they have the white bit of rub off. Right, I didn't notice that, but apparently the the white bit, as she's just said, which are the little decals, the stickers up at the top, they've rubbed off. This is a used one, I can tell with the dust on it. It's in really, really nice condition though, and it's actually like brand new, just needs a bit of a clean. That contact grease is horrible stuff. And that was £16.95, which I don't think is too bad. I know they're a lot more expensive brand new. Next box. This has come from... Oh, I don't know where it's come from, this, actually. Oh, it's a genuine forward part. Ah, yes. And it's the boot handle. I showed you in the walk around, it was all faded. It was covered in polish. They go really, really grey and get some faded. This is a brand new forward part for the new badge to be stuck on. And that was £14.99, which I don't think is too bad again. Next. Another box. This one's come from Germany. There's four little things inside here. This one's already open. And it's brand new super shiny centre caps. How much have you paid for these? She's paid £27.04 for four. Not bad, that. I know I've seen these on eBay because I've been having a bit of a snoop myself. And I think they're about £25 each on eBay. So £27 for four genuine centre caps for the sport car is um, it's a bargain. Good sourcing, Hannah. Right. So that's all the parts she's got. <clears throat> so we paid £1,100 for the car. If you add up everything that she spent, including the leather interior we bought, which was £72.50, the grand total comes to £201.87. So if you add that to the £1,100 we've already spent, that's £1,301.87. We've still got the all our wheels to get refurbished which I'm not sure how much they're going to be then, but I think you can usually pay them guys cash and they'll uh, do you a bit of a better deal. And then we also need to pay the body shop, and I don't know how much that's going to be either. I just told them to sort it out because it needs doing. So that's that. Thanks for watching this quick video. I hope you found it entertaining. It's a bit different to what I usually do. I usually sit and watch my videos and find them quite boring, but apparently people say they're not, and they do enjoy them, so it's all good. I have noticed one part that Hannah's not been able to find, which she's been very quiet about because I know it's been doing her head in, and it's the airbag cover um, for the passenger airbag. It's different to all the others because it doesn't say SRS airbag on it, it just says airbag. So I think I'm going to have to go around a few scrap yards and try and find one of them. We have spoke to a few breakers on eBay and we've got nowhere with it. So if anyone knows of any of that are knocking about, please give us a shout or put a link down in the comment section below. Like I just said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's just a quick one, a bit of fun going through all the parts as we go along. I'm going to keep totting up the price for the sport car because I don't want to end up paying um, it owing me about £6,000. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and again, any comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And hopefully the next video is going to be when it comes back from the body shop and we're having the wheels refurbished. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.